Well guys, the Evo is coming real fast. And yeah, even when we have Ryu and Ken in Smash Bros. Ultimate already, you know, fighting games are more than just Street Fighter. There are so many great sagas that we love and many characters that can be in Smash Brothers and make a lot of people happy. So, we're picking a list of many characters, let's just make this clear, from many of our favorite sagas that can be in Smash Bros. For this list, we're picking one male, one female, and sometimes one non-human character per saga. So, strap in, take a cup of coffee, sit down, and relax. Enjoy the ride! Let's begin with one saga that actually has a chance to be in Smash Brothers. I'm talking about Bandai Namco's Tale of Souls and Swords, Soul Calibur. The first character will be Siegfried. Siegfried is kind of the main character from a lore perspective. He is the knight who will become the infamous Nightmare. But after some trials and tribulations, he gained his conscience, he returned to be a knight, and now he fights alongside all the, the rest of the characters against the Soul Age. Siegfried uses a giant sword. Yeah, I know, just like another blonde guy with a giant sword, but this time, this is a giant sword that is heavy. He cannot just jump around and use the sword like it was like some sort of giant knife. No, it's a big and heavy sword. So, he will be a, some sort of slow and heavy character with slow attacking movement, but real powerful and with a, let's just say, a good, very good range. The next one, well, it's going to be a little bit controversial. Uh, we, first of all, we have two girls who can be in Smash Bros. as simple as that. But the first one, it's a little bit controversial since, let's just say, her dress, it's kind of interesting. I'm talking about Ivy. Now, Ivy uses this kind of sword whip. Okay, it's a sword that can extend itself like a whip and then even she can control the pieces that make the sword to make it fly, to make them fly all around her. So, to turn her into a Smash Bros. character, first of all, maybe some changes into the outfit. Sorry guys, I love to see her in her full outfit, but let's just say we have another Bayonetta problem. But... She will be not as fast as other characters, she will be medium weight, yeah, but her range will be extremely awesome, even further than Simon or Richter. The bad thing is that she will be kind of light or at least not as fast as other characters, so you have to work with the range to conquer your enemies. That would be kind of cool if you think about it, and yeah! The other one is Sofitia. Now, Sofitia is a more main character, or at least she's like the main girl, per se. She's the one who defeats Soul Edge at first. And she uses a short sword and shield. Yeah, some sort of hero or link, but... She uses the shield as a boomerang, or at least as a projectile. This could bring some new perspective for a sword and shield user. Lastly, we have the Soul Edge itself. Well, the incarnation we are talking about. I'm talking about Nightmare. Yeah, Nightmare can be just an echo for Siegfried, even a skin for Siegfried, but... He has some changes. First of all, he can summon this strange giant knight horse 
like some nightmare he can ride and attack from it and also he has this big claw so just think about it yeah maybe like Siegfried slow giant range slow attacking speed but he can move faster by using his forward B that will be the nightmare itself that this horse riding the horse maybe can attack twice maybe he can attack once and maybe use the claw as some sort of command grab. That Nightmare actually is my main choice if you have to pick one character for Soul Calibur. Especially because he's like the mascot, he's like the main face of the game. So, besides, like I always say, we need more villains. Let's continue with the Bandai Namco trend. This one is actually part of a theory out there about who will be the next character. And it's about Tekken. Tekken, it's a long running series. And it's from Bandai Namco, so they have some credit to being Smash Brothers. Especially, especially the next character. And that will be Heihachi. Heihachi is this old man, but don't get fooled, he's such a badass, he's this, just think about Ryu or Ken, but meaner, he's a character fighter, he will be melee fighter, just close combat, but he's also a mafia boss, man, Heihachi's family is strongly fond of crime and power, so Heihachi has this Villain, badass attitude that could be useful, that can be awesome in the Smash Brothers roster. Maybe that's why many people think of him when they are starting to say, okay, the next character has to be a Tekken character. And who? Well, Heihachi. For the female, I'll pick Asuka. She's this wrestler. Well, she fights close quarter and she fights at melee, so it's always welcoming. Sadly, I don't know a lot of Asuka, but she is the main face, or at least the one that I recognize from Tekken. And lastly, this actually is kind of interesting. I'm calling out Kuma, a little bear. So just, just for giggles, think about it. Just, I just want to see the memes about having Banjo and then having this little bear walking around the stage. That would be hilarious, man! Now with one fan favorite. Many people theorize that we are going to have one of these characters. But some other people say that these characters are so, so extremely violent at the point that if you take out the violence from their games, they won't be themselves. I'm talking about the fatalities and about the gore. Mortal Kombat is here. And yeah, we're, if we're talking about Mortal Kombat, you know who am I talking about. The both ninjas, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Sorry, they are not ninjas, right? Well, I think they're ninjas. So, Scorpion and Sub-Zero, why are they both together? First of all, they are the Mortal Kombat, the first character since the first game we have Sub-Zero and Scorpion. So it will be just obvious they have to be the faces from Mortal Kombat. Also, Scorpion can use so many fire element attacks. He can turn he can take out his mask and be like this skeleton spinning of fire. But you know what it needs to be. What it needs to be in Smash from Scorpion. And that's the this long claw he sends, or it's like some sort of kunai, I don't know, with a with a rope. We, just we have to hear the words come over here from him in Smash Brothers. Just think about it. And it's not as far fetched. Let's just think about uh, how is he called? Joker? Joker from Persona. His up B uses this string upwards and bring the character downwards. 
something like that just in front of the enemy as simple as that we have even even this little dog isabel uses this rod the same mechanic the same same mechanic can be used for scorpion in the other hand we have sub-zero who can well you know freeze people maybe not as annoyingly as the this little girl this little girl this little brother like the ice climbers but maybe in a more focused way maybe he can send one projectile freeze an enemy but the projectile may be slow and also his down b should be his ice clone just think about it some sort of counter but not being a counter itself you start pressing down b he jumps backwards and left a scorpion ice clone if the enemy is fighting melee well, he turned into ice, but he can also absorb some projectiles. This can be such a useful tool and such an awesome thing. If we talk about females, well, there are a lot of them, yeah, and even though many people say Sonya, I'd rather think about Kitana. Since she's more important in the lore, she's this, she's Shao Kahn's quote quote daughter. And also, if think about it, in the latest, in the late game, Mortal Kombat 11, Kitana uses some weapons from another female character. So maybe we can fit this whole different kind of weapons within her, so we can have all the different colors as skins, maybe the different models. I don't know, but Kitana is the best option if we talk about female Mortal Kombat characters. Okay, true time. To be honest, uh, where I grew up, we didn't play a lot of Street Fighter. No, uh, where I grew up, the real fighting game was King of Fighters. Yeah. Maybe it's not as popular now than before, but let's just remember King of Fighter was a huge game, especially in the fighting game genre And it's actually the legacy from SNK So it will be fitting to have one King of Fighter or at least one of these King of Fighters into Smash Brothers So let's just see For the male it has to be Kyo Kusanagi Kyokusanagi is a young adult who fights with fire and one of his special moves has to be when he jumps into the sky twirling and kind of having his fist on fire attacking in all the fronts jumping yeah that could be kind of awesome let's just remember Kyokusanagi is from a really really strong family I do believe they actually have the blood of the god or something like that, you know how is the drill. But Kyokusanagi could be an awesome character. It can be average speed, average movement, average weight, but he can be real, real, real acrobatic. Kicks jumping with a spinning fire, some, some projectiles, simple projectiles. Can be awesome. For the females, where we have two characters that actually are more interesting than Q itself well I'm talking about first of all I'm talking about the high school psychic power and also an idol Athena Athena is this girl who can use bolts of energy she can even use it as a shield so she will be a little bit light not as fast as other characters but she can use the, her energy balls maybe control them as they move in the stage and one of her special, maybe down B, she uses these energy balls to protect herself from the enemies, maybe pushing them around, pushing them far away. Just think about something like Mega Man's down B, where he uses these leaves moving around him, something like that. For the other female character, I'm talking about, well, yeah, and um, the same thing with Ivy, she could be. <laughs> Well, another another Bayonetta problem, and I'm talking about 
Mai Shiranui, I'm hoping I'm saying the last name right. Mai Shiranui, she is a going to say dancer. I want to say dancer. Uh, she fights with a fan. Another weapon we haven't seen this malware, at least not as a main weapon. It was like an item that they got rid of, and good riddance actually. But this character uses a fan. Yeah, okay. She's really, really acrobatic. She jumps around from here to here. And also she can control fire. So just think about it. Power B. She, is, she makes this spin. Maybe some sort of dash. Jumping. And then fails with the fire in front of her. Excellent to jump into fight. So, Athenia and Mai. Both of them will be kind of cool to see in the Smash.